in this data set what is given is there are uh, nine boxes arranged in three cross three array as shown in table one and table two each box contains three sacks each sack has certain number of coins between one and nine so the maximum number of coins in a sack can be nine and minimum can be one the average number of coins per sack in the boxes are all distinct integers okay so the total number of coins in each row is the same and the total number of coins in each co column is also the same table one gives information regarding the median of the numbers of coins so the central value is given in each sack the number of coins at the center is given and in the box for some of the boxes in table two each box has number which represents the number of sacks in that box having more than five coins okay the number of box which has uh, more than number of sacks which has more than five coins has been indicated and uh, that number is followed by one asterisk on multiplication symbol so if the sack in that box satisfy exactly one among the following three conditions so among the three if one satisfy one star is given and if two or more of these conditions are satisfied two star is given and the conditions are given as the minimum among the number of coins in the three sacks in the box one is one and the median of the number of coins in three sacks is one and the maximum among the number of coins in three sacks in the box is nine so what we know for sure is that the number of coins in each sack in the box is going to be minimum of one and maximum of nine and the average number of coins per sack in boxes are all distinct integers that means the average can be one two three four five six seven eight and nine why am i stopping at nine because the total number of coins uh, the maximum number of coins in each sack will be nine a box contains three sacks so the maximum number of coins can be in a box can be 27 so if the total number of coins in a box is 27 then the average is going to be 9 only so what will be the total number of coins then it can be 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 and 24 so the total number of coins and adding all the number of coins the total number of coins it is going to be 135 and <clears throat> there are three rows and three columns so 135 divided by 3 which is going to give me 45 so what we know for sure each row is, uh, is going to have 45 coins and each column is also going to have 45 coins and we are going to uh, fill up the boxes from the information and the conditions specified what we know for sure here is the total number of coins in each row should be 45 and the number of coins in each column should also be 45 and we are going to fill up the boxes using the condition specified i am going to start from the first box in the third row it has three sacks which has more than five coins and the median value is eight and it satisfies only one of the condition since the medium medium value is eight this is ruled out and all the three sacks is going to have more than five so first is also ruled out so the condition that is satisfying here is nine if i take nine and eight and the third sack is also going to have more than five coins so what are the possible case it can have six seven eight and nine if i put a six here what will happen i get 17 23 as the total the total number of coins should be a multiple of three so if i put eight not a multiple of three if i put nine not a multiple of three so the only possible case here is going to be seven so the total turns to be 24 and the average is three and moving on to the first box in the second row it has one sack which has more than five coins and two of the condition is satisfied since the median value is two the first is ruled out so first sorry the second is ruled out and the first and third follows here so the maximum should be nine and the minimum should be one so the total should be 12 and the average is going to be what four and we know that each column should have a total of 45 coins only 36 is gone so this box should have nine in total and this box has one sack which is greater than five coins and two of the condition is satisfied so can i take a nine here if i take a nine here the total number of coins in this box is nine and this sack is also nine so the this means the other two sacks will have zero coins so that is not a possible case so only values less than nine is possible so this is ruled out so the possible conditions are one and one so one and one and what should be added to one and one to make a nine it should be seven and the average is going to be three here i'm moving to the nearby box it has nine as the median and it has two boxes 
which has more than uh, two sacks which has more than five coins and only one condition is satisfied and what has been said here it has been said that uh, the median value is nine so the maximum value should also be nine then only i can say that the median value is nine so and one condition is satisfied and third is satisfied here and these two are not following here and the next sack should have number of coins less than five so it should be four three two and one is also ruled out so if i put a four here what i get i get a total of 22 it is not a multiple of three so four is ruled out if i put two here it will be 20 again not a multiple of three two is ruled out so the only possible case is going to be three coins in the next sack so a total of what 21 and the average is going to be seven Moving to the nearby box, it has 6 as the median and it has 2 sacks which has more than 5 coins and only one condition is satisfied. And we also know that the total number of coins in this row is 45, already 30 is gone. So this box should have 50 coins in total and the average should be 5. And uh, 2 sacks has more than 5 coins and median is 6 and only one condition is satisfied. This is ruled out. Can I take a value as 9? If I take a 9 here, the 2 sacks alone will contribute to 15 coins. That is not possible because the if that is possible, third sack will have 0 coins. Not a possible case. So 9 cannot come. So this cannot come. So the only condition here is 1. So if it is a 1, what should be added to make a total of 15? It should be 8. And moving to the last box in the third column, it has 0 sacks which has more than 5 coins and 2 conditions is satisfied. So it has 0 sacks more than 5 means third condition is not allowed here. So first and second should follow. So it should have 1 and 1. And what is the number of coins in the third sack which is not known currently. So we'll move to the nearby box. So it has 2 sacks which is more than 9 coins and 2 of the condition is satisfied. So since there are two sacks which has more than five coins then the median value cannot be one so this is ruled out so the possible case is one and nine so this should have nine as a maximum number and one as the minimum number and this gives me a total of what value 10 and the next sack should also have more than five coins so what are the possible cases it can have six seven eight and nine so if if two if six is added to ten it will be 16 not a multiple of uh, 3 if I had a 7 there so it will be 17 not a multiple of 3 if I had 8 there multiple of 3 if I had 9 there not a multiple of 3 so the only possible case is here is 8 and we know that this total is going to be what 18 and the average is going to be 6 and total of 42 is gone so this box should have 3 in total and the average should be 1 so this should obviously be 1 and we have 39 here and this should have a total of 6 and the average should be 2 and we have 18 here and this should be 27 and the average should be 9 for a total to be 27 and the average should be 9 each sack should have 9 and it also satisfies the condition because there are 3 sacks in this box which has more than 5 coins and for this to be 6 what are the possible cases it has 0 sacks more than uh, 5 coins and one condition is satisfied so this is ruled out if I'm going to take these two, this as true, second median value is true, the other should also be one, but only one condition is satisfied. So 4, 1, 1 cannot come. So median cannot be one. So what is the next possible case? Only one. So the minimum value is one. And what are the combinations that can give me a total of six, one, two, and three? So this will be the solution for the given data set. what is the total number of coins in all the boxes in the third row so it has been said we have already found that the total number of coins should be 45 each row and each column is going to have 45 so the correct option will be option d moving on to the next question how many boxes have at least one sack containing nine coins so one of the sack in each box should have nine coins so what are the number of cases here this is possible one two and 3 and 4 and 5 so the number of box which has at least one sack ha having nine coins is going to be five so the answer for this question is going to be five here moving on to the next question for how many boxes are the average and median of the numbers of the coins containing three sacks in that box are same so the average and median should same 
should be same so the here the median is 1 and the average is 3 here the median is 2 and the average is 4 not possible and this is possible the average is 8 and median is also 8 here the median is 8 and the average is what value 6 here this is possible because average and median are same here 7 not possible and here it is 6 and 5 not possible 9 and 9 is possible so far we have selected three boxes and this is also not possible and this is possible so so, so far how many boxes where the median and average and the median of the number of coins contained in the three sacks in that box are same so there are four possible cases so four will be the answer for this question moving on to the next question how many sacks have exactly one coin how many sacks have exactly one coin there are one two here we have two sacks and here we have one sack here we have two sacks one sack and here we have one sack and uh, here also we have one sack and here we have three sacks and we have one sack so how many sacks have exactly one coin two plus three is five eight and nine so nine sacks have exactly one coins will be the answer for this question so for how many boxes do all the sacks contain different in how many boxes do all the sacks contain different number of coins is the question so if we have similar coins here we have different coins here also different coins two three that is not possible so four and this is not possible this is not possible and this is possible so total of five boxes uh, where all the three sacks contain different number of coins so the answer for this question will be five